It's a cool t-shirt, by the way. I'm just glad that they still have pictures of our pop stars that we used to love when we were young, you know? I didn't buy this now. Like, I did not buy this t-shirt, ironically. I bought it at a Madonna concert. Oh, shit. He rolled. You can't leave two white girls to discuss hip-hop unsupervised. Literally nothing has changed for the cockroach since 1994. Nothing. Hello, my name is Giliata. And I'm Tatsum Gonzo. Welcome to This Is Why. It's been a year since Sia Golisi lifted the Webb Ellis Trophy after South Africa defeated England in 2019's Rugby World Cup. After being tipped as favourites in that year's competition, England were beaten by the box 32 points to 19 points. 32-19. You don't have to say the points. 32-19 what? Points? No, no, no. Just say the numbers. 32-19. You don't have to say the point. points. 32-19. You don't have to say the points. Think of rugby the same way that women argue. Oh, pointless. I get it. South Africa is getting a new airline called Lyft. The airline is a partnership between Kalula founder Gordon Novick and Global Aviation, a leading operator of Airbus A320 aircraft. Low-cost flights in the form of airlines such as Flysafair, Mango and now Lyft indicate strongly that South Africans just don't know how to name airlines. In an open competition, the public was asked to submit names for the airline and the name Lyft was chosen. Set to fly in December, Lyft, the asking for a free ride sounding airline, will have tickets on sale within the next two weeks. Sean Connery, famous for exciting and seducing the world over with his role as the iconic James Bond, has died at the very old age of 90. 90 years old, that's a good run. The oldest person in the world is 117, did you know that? No. You know they say that the first person to live to 200 has already been born. Now, two things scare me about that one. Is that person gonna look 200? <laughs> right, and the second one? Is that person going to be me? Because <laughs> I'm having a hard time looking 38. I don't think I'm going to enjoy 138. Mm. 38, huh? Mm -hmm. How do you feel telling people that you are 38? Not great. Yes. Not great. 38 isn't even an age. It's not. It's like 38 is your late 30s. It's basically 40. Right. I'm 45. <laughs> I get you. I'm proud of you. Because I saw when you said it, it was a bit tough. And my back. I've got a problem with my back. What happened now? I don't know. I was lying, just lying on my bed like normally and then I turned 38. But I think we fixated on being old and this is why. Nobody's ever told us what age old is. Like we know all the other ages. Think about it. You know the ages for infants, toddlers, prepubescent, pubescent teenagers. Teenagers go from teenagehood into adulthood. We've been told all of this, and all of a sudden, into adulthood, silence. Like, it's like someone forgot to tell us that last little bit. Nobody tells us what age old is. So our whole lives, we make it up. Like, when I was a toddler, everybody who was older than me was old. When I was a teenager, everyone who had a car was old. Yeah, I remember thinking my teachers were old. I mean, they were probably, like, in their 20s. Absolutely. And we've been making it up since back then, and we're making it up now. The only difference is we're making it up now because we don't want to be the old ones. That's why we start saying things like 50 is the new 40, 40 is the new 30, 30 is the new 20. Yeah, it's, and it's all a lie. Like I'm 35 and I'm starting to feel things in my body that I thought only old people felt. But I only think that because nobody told me that this is exactly the right age when I'm supposed to be feeling these things. So 50 is the new 40, 40 is the new 30, 30 is the new 20. Guys, stop. We're all just old. Say it with me. We're, We're all just, just old. old. And we need to normalize being old again. Yeah, like I have this, this back issue now. And yeah. it's not going away. It's like when you start having pains in your body that stay. Yes. It's a good clue. Apparently because my hips are out of balance and my glutes aren't strong. And then that's putting pressure on my facet joints. And because oh. of that, my ITB you is... You see, like when you start knowing your body parts, you're old. It's a cool t-shirt, by the way. I'm just glad that they still have pictures of our pop stars that we used to love when we were young, you know? I didn't buy this now. Like, I did not buy this t-shirt, ironically. I bought it at a Madonna concert. Oh, shit. He rolled. So Madonna is a... Never mind. Yes, hello, forget it. <laughs> 
being in your 30s is when you really start to grapple with it because it's like this midpoint between actually being young and when you have to start telling yourself you're young. And it's even better if somebody else tells you. That's actually true though, because if you're happy when someone tells you that you look younger than you actually are, then you're old. No truly young person feels happy when that happens. If you tell an 18 year old they look 15, they'll be mad. Yeah, no one ever goes, 20 is the new 10. Exactly. And they'll tell you proudly, I'm 18, I'm 18. We waste so much time thinking we should be an age other than the age that we're at. Tats, what does it feel like to be a man in his 30s? That's such a weird question. I've never thought about that. Man, anyway. <sighs> He's never thought about it. Nice, huh? What? Age is a very different thing for women than it is for men. Okay, we have a hard time accepting getting older. But there's a very simple reason for that. It's not vanity, okay? Sometimes it's vanity. Right. But it comes down to a very real need to pre preserve our youth. Preserve your youth? What are you, Dracula? Listen here, if your reference for a vampire now is Count Dracula, <laughs> you old. You made it worse by saying Count, but I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> for women, our age is tied to our ability to have children, and it feels like our worth is tied to that too. So already in your 20s, you start to think about it, and then if you're still thinking about it in your 30s, you start to feel like it's too late. Mm. I do feel that like in the dating space. Like women in, the, in their 20s, you go out, you're like, would you like some wine? And she'll be like, yeah, sure, let's get a bottle. It's a little bit of a different tension with women in their 30s. You'll be like, would you like some wine? Sure, let's get a baby. <laughs> exactly. And I can definitely feel like there's a little bit more pressure. I'm so proud of the women you've dated. They've made you feel like there's just a little bit more pressure. <laughs> Let me ask you something, okay? How would you feel if all medical professionals told you that your dick was going to stop working? What? Wouldn't you feel a little bit of pressure? Wait, what do you mean stop work? Like when? Like at my deathbed? How old are you now? I'm 35. So, no. No, man, that's crazy. Yeah. What, what do you mean, yeah? What does that have to do with women and age? The women who have made you feel like there's just a little bit more pressure, as you say, seriously have their shit under control because what they're really thinking is, my eggs are dying while you are sitting here not thinking about your age, you fucking idiot. <laughs> okay. I get it, I get it, okay. So you saying that I should be dating younger women? Because you're only as old as the people that you feel. Isn't that something like that? <laughs> no. That is literally not how age works. You are old and you're touching young people. Oh! <laughs> okay, fine. Please, fine. please stop touching young people. I'll tell you what though. I would not trade my 38-year-old mind for my 18-year-old body. Oh, yeah? What are you saying? Right now you've grown so much and more mature, experienced, loving life. Yeah, and my body wasn't that great. You can fool yourself that you're still a young person. I would say until 37. Because until then, like at your age, you're still in your mid 30s. From 37, you are officially late 30s, which means you're almost 200. <laughs> I just want to get you to a place where you understand your age, you know, so that you can be realistic. Oh God, why would you want to be realistic? Because you have to understand what your age means to you and in your environment and to your society. And then the trick is to forget all about it. You know, you know, Kanye says, if you're alive, you're young. Yeah, but Kanye also said, poopity scoop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what are you saying? I'm saying we're old. Nobody's coming to tell us, and so I'm telling us. Okay, well, I'm saying you have to accept your age, and this is why. Which are old A's. <laughs> 38 is the new 38, bitches. 38 is the new 50. That doesn't feel right. Poopity scoop.